Welcome to another edition of What I Wore This Week. Hello everyone, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are subscribed and come back on a regular, and for those of you who are new, welcome. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit that little notification bell. We're just going to get started with this week. So I'm going to give you a what I wore this week. We are transitioning from summer to fall, so I'm still in my summer attire. So the first outfit I have on is this, um, these shorts, these linen shorts. These are Motif brand, which is a Shein brand, but they go by Motif Official. I think it's Motif, I say Motif, I say Motif, sounds a little bit more chic. Then I paired it with this Zara see-through long top. I mean, as you guys can see, it has splits on the side of the top. It is a beautiful, uh, like a copper color um, top. V in the front, V, a deep V in the front. And for that reason, I put a cami, a new color cami underneath because I like to be modest. Then I paired it with my J. Crew, the vegan leather sandals that I purchased these for like I think they were like $30, they were on sale. Um, even though they're vegan leather, they were quite expensive. Okay, so I was waiting for them to go on sale because they are the perfect color of camel. And so I grabbed them and I also grabbed them in the navy blue. I will link them down below. But these pants, these shorts from Motif, um, these are actually the only pair of shorts I've bought that I purchased from Motif. And down because if I just have them regularly, the crotch is too low. But I do like them a lot because they're ecru, off-white, ivory color, and so I really, really do like these pants and I can get a lot of wear out of them, so we just learn to improvise. They do have pockets, which I love. They are fully lined, and I love the, the length of the shorts. So we're going to go ahead and keep them. I have on my Tory Burch, excuse me, excuse me, I have gum in my mouth. Anyway, you know, I paired with my Tory Burch Sunnies because we are still in summer, transitioning to fall. And let me grab my bag. This, my friend, is my Tory Burch bag that I picked up at the outlet. This is a B Raswell bag. These bags go for at least between $1,000 and $1,500, $1,600. I cannot afford that, so I did not pay that for this bag. At the outlet, you are not going to believe I paid $400 for this bag. Just so happened at the outlet, it was already reduced and there was an additional 40% off. And so I hurry up and grab this bag. And so I love it because it has these beautiful tones, these copper tones in the bag, uh, these brown tones. It's a very neutral bag and it has this snake skin on the front of it, and I love that Tory Burch does that suede insert on the side of the bag. I just think it adds a level of elegance, a level of chicness um, to the bag. bag. It really elevates the bag. And so anytime I buy a Link Reservoir bag, I'm always looking for that suede insert. So this is going to be the Peach Tone Sony bag. So shorts it is again. I have my baby blue shorts that I picked up from Ann Taylor. I love these shorts because they're classic. I love the length of the, sh of the shorts. I'm not a particular, particular fan of short shorts. So these shorts do me well. A uh, little story about these shorts. When I went to purchase these, these shorts, the saleswoman asked me if I'm buying them for my mother. No, ma'am. They're for me. Okay? I guess she thought maybe they weren't short enough for me, but again, this length is perfect for me. Moving on. This top I purchased from Shein. Um, I love the fact that it has a little broadening here at the shoulder. And the reason why I like it is because it tends to balance out the shape. I have a smaller waist and my hips are fuller and so it adds balance to the shape. As you can see, I love the fact that it is a powder blue that is a neutral color in my opinion. And so it pairs nicely with these navy blue pants, or rather shorts. I have on my J. Crew slippers in the nude color or camel color, and I paired it with this 
belt. Where did I get this? I think I purchased this belt from J. Crew as well. And it is 100% leather and it was on sale because you know we love a sale. I think it was like $34.99, $35.99. I'm trying to see if they still have available and link it down below. And so I'm going to grab my Troy Birch Lee, Lee Weisswell bag that I got at such a fabulous discount and my Troy Birch Sunnies. And we are ready to go. So here we are with another pair of Ann Taylor black classic pants. Again, I love the, le the length of these pants. I love the fit of these pants. These are actually a size six. And my plan is to be able to get into a size four very comfortably this time next year. We are going to do this. And I paired it with this nude, beautiful nude cow color top that I actually stole from my mother's. My mother, this is not her top, but she sent me a picture of her in this top and I absolutely loved it. When she told me that she purchased it from this Moti Shein line, I was sold because you guys know I love that Moti line that Shein has. And so I heard I quickly bought it. I want to say it was $15. I will link it back down below, but it, it is a silky cotton. It's a very excellent quality. It is thick. It's very thick and it's very smooth and soft to the touch. I love the fact that it has a little gathering on the side because it always makes our waist look slimmer. I paired it with these shoes. Again, I've been influenced. I've seen all the influencers on with these little sandals like this. With these cute, uh, different heels. Um, they're like a block heel, but then they kind of concave in, in the back. And I thought they were super cute. And I've been searching, searching, searching for you guys. And I'm always looking for a deal. And I found them on Mango, and I think they were like $35 or, or $30 or something like that. And so I hurried up and grabbed them. They are real leather strap. And I believe the surface where my foot is on is leather as well. So, you know, I definitely grabbed it. And then I grabbed my Tory Birch Lee Raspberry bag. I love this bag. Love this bag. And I really love this bag, particularly because I got it on sale at the outlet. When I when I saw this bag, I was like, oh no, I need that one right here. I need to include that one right here. It's black, it's classic, it goes with anything. Um, I love the fact that it's front embossed. And the side, the side has the suede inserts. I believe this bag regularly, regularly goes for eight or nine hundred dollars. I want to say more closer to eight hundred, and I believe I paid like five fifty for it. So I was very excited, and so um, I'm always looking for a bargain, always looking for a deal. You may go to the Troy Birch outlet, and they may have things from last season. I don't care. I don't care if it's last season's coming. All I care about is getting a deal and a bargain. And sometimes when you shop out of season, like right now is the perfect time to buy books or a coat or something like that because when you shop out of season, you get the best deals. For instance, like Reese, Reese is very expensive and the quality of their things are beautiful. Right now is the perfect time to buy a Reese coat if they have not increased the prices. The last time I looked, it was the perfect time to buy a Reese coat. A regularly $600 coat, you probably got it for like two dollars And so that's another tip on how to save money. When we're shopping, not only do we buy classic pieces, we wear them over and over again, but we shop out of season. And so this is going to be today's completed So today I decided to pick up my new shorts. Once again, you guys have seen them for the week. And this is why I buy neutral colors, because neutral colors you can wear uh, many times a week, multiple ways. You really get your money's worth. And as I've gotten older, I used to buy very trendy things and wear them once or twice and wasn't really interested in them and buying them or wearing them anymore. And as I've gotten older, I realized that I just don't want to be spending a lot of money on my clothing and trendy things. And so I've gotten smarter. And also the beautiful ladies from YouTube who have taught us that minimalism is really the best way to go, as well as having a lot of neutrals in our closet is really the best way to go. And so I've listened to them and they are absolutely right. I really didn't want to get caught up in that neutral trend or everything is beige, black, but I completely understand why now. They do it, it just makes sense, especially when you don't make a lot of money, you don't have a lot of money, you just buy quality pieces and you get a lot of bang for your money. And so again, these are the navy blue and tailored pants. 
my vegan leather camel J. Crew sandals um, or slippers that are extremely comfortable. They have a lot of cushioning in the bottom. This belt, I believe, is J. Crew also. It's 100% leather. And this t shirt I purchased from Cost. I've been seeing a lot of influencers wear this nautical look with the stripes. There's something that they call it in the UK. I forgot. There's a particular Breton. Breton. I don't know if it's a brand, but I guess they make these style of shirts. And when I saw them and I kept seeing them, I'm like, you know what? I've been influenced and I went ahead and purchased me one and I have not regretted it. This one from Cost was like $25. And then I grabbed my Tory Burch bag. Um, I could have grabbed the other bag that paired nicely with the belt and the um, sandals, but I was slides, but I decided to change those a little bit and grab my Tory Burch Eleanor bag. As you guys can see, I love Tory Burch. I feel, really feel like for the quality of the product that she makes, she really can charge a lot of people money. Like, don't tell them that, okay? She really can because I even feel like her website doesn't do her bag justice. Doesn't do her bags justice. They don't translate the quality of the bag. And so sometimes I say, well, I'm not gonna buy another Toy Birch bag, but guess what? I end up buying one and I can't stay away from the brand because she really makes beautiful bags, beautiful quality, and she just nails it with the styles every time. Toy Birch Sunnies, and we are ready. Again, we can't get enough black. I love, I absolutely love black. And so for that reason, I decided to wear black today, even though it is not even Okay, moving on. And so again, my black Ann Taylor, um, almost knee length shorts. My J. Crew leather belt that I purchased um, a little while ago. I've been talking about it all video long, about $35, I believe it was, all leather. And then my vegan leather J. Crew sandals. And then this top I picked up uh, from Banana Republic. You guys, Banana Republic has gotten very pricey. Um, their aesthetic now is leaning more towards like the Ralph Lauren um, aesthetic. Beautiful, the Ralph Lauren makes beautiful clothing, especially their purple line, which I'll never be able to afford. So I'm always waiting for a sale. This shirt is um, 
a chem the chemical shirt, a uh, cotton shirt that I was telling you all about from the black shirt that I wore a couple of days ago. Yesterday, whenever. Anyway, this is the cow color. And so it's a very thick cotton. Again, they were originally like $40, and I got them for $20. And so I was super excited about it. Um, and the reason why I'm pair the black with it is just to give it some dimension. I noticed like a lot of the influencers do that. And I was like, you know, I like that. I like adding a third color. And so then for that reason, I grabbed my black Tory Burch bag, Lee Raswell bag. I was going to say Ellen. This is the Lee Raswell bag. That I got on sale as well, as well, and my Tory Burch sunnies that I wear all the time. You guys see, I've seen them all. Week. And this is going to be 